How you doing? <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> Hi, camera. How are you doing? Hello, Daddy. Yes, Daddy. I miss you. <laughs> One minute, 37 seconds later. <sighs> <sighs> just woke up from the night shift and I called the Paradise Trucks and Trailers and they order parts and they find something cheaper aftermarket. It's not going to be 7,000. It's not going to be 4,500, which we find like second use hand. And it's going to be 3,000, which is better than 7,000. Oh, good. I have, to more, I have to work more. Okay, that was my little update here. I need to wake up to go for the night shift. Bye. So this is the first time I've ever filmed and edited a video by myself. So it's not going to be... Okay. 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 It's not going to be qu Robert's quality. But, um... I'm gonna try my best to entertain you guys. Well, not entertain you. I'm gonna try my best to give you guys an update and see where we're at. Bruh, is that a whole booger in my nose? <laughs> That's a whole booger in my nose and I don't even notice. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. So I'm in Calgary by myself. I don't do much all day. All I do is walk Yuki and um, go to the gym, go for walks, read books, cook, and that's about it. I haven't made any friends, really, but, um, that's okay. <laughs> well, new friends. I still, I have a uh, couple friends, but they're busy, so I mostly spend my days by myself. Bish, please, wipe your, just, just do that, just do that, like. Like, oh my god, like, just wipe your nose, like. But I actually like being by myself. I'm an introvert, actually. So it works out for me. And I get to hang out with my bestie all day. My best friend here, Miss, Miss Yuki. You know, no one warns you about how hot Calgary is. Like, you think it's going to be freezing when you move here. But actually, it's pretty warm. I love it. I was supposed to go to a yoga class, but I got lost and I ended up being five minutes late. And then when I walked in, it was full of people. And then the instructor like called to me at the back of the room and I walked in and she was like, you can pull up a mat here at the front. And I literally went and ran out. Social anxiety sucks. But luckily at Good Life, they have these things called the mind dens. And you can come in here and do a workout by yourself. So I think I'm gonna try yoga just by myself in the mind den. A win's a win. I'm here. All right, let's do it. Ooh, what's this treat, Yuki? Ooh, what are you gonna do for it? Lie down. Ooh, give me paw. Give me paw, good girl. Okay, wait, wait. Wait. Okay, go. I'm gonna clean Buttercup's cage. Y'all can watch me if you want. It might be boring though. When I clean her cage, I try to keep some of her old, I keep some of her old substrate so she has her scent still, so she doesn't get very angry. Um, I know I'm doing this in the bed, it's kind of gross, but I'm gonna wash all the sheets and everything today anyways. And I keep all the clean substrate that she hasn't soiled inside the thing, the bin. Okay, let's layer it. I wouldn't clean the entire cage at once because that usually hamsters do not like that. You have to do it. You have to do it part by part. But 
Um, I didn't clean the cage when we first got in here because I didn't want to startle her. I wanted her to still have her scent because I was already changing enclosures. So the enclosure was starting to stink. Okay, I ain't trying to have a stanky enclosure up in here, okay? I ain't trying to smell no booty hole up in here while I'm trying to sleep. I, heard a, I waited a little while, wait for it a little get comfy, and, and now, it's trying to, now it's time to clean up because she's comfy now. This is, so this is her setup. She has her wheel, her sand bath. Coming up here, she has her substrate that she can dig in ample running space toilet water two little cubbies she likes to sleep in this one now this is her favorite one but this big one is here as well that she can dig down and go to her little nest that she built and that will be her little home nice and clean right you It's a huge adjustment learning how to be alone. Well, technically I'm not alone. I'm with my Poochie, my Yuki. I do miss Roberts. <laughs> it's a lot more exciting with him around because he's funny. But there are some upsides of having an apartment. One, flushing a toilet never gets old. There is a light that flickers in here. I don't know if there's some ghosts up in here, but I'm not the one. Ghosts wanna we can go. I think one of the biggest parts of of this time in my life is it's hard to be with yourself when you don't have purpose. Um, but when you're alone with yourself in the quiet, you have to really think like, oh, who am I when I'm not working, when I'm not in school, when I'm not traveling? Sometimes it's hard. <laughs> It's hard to be alone with yourself, with your thoughts. Only so many books you can read. That's a lie, I can read books all day, honey. <laughs> I can never run out of books, honey. I think the majority of my life, I spent my life in survival mo mode. I've been just like, trying to do everything just to feel okay. Just to keep a baseline of neutrality. <laughs> it's always about, okay, we gotta work, we gotta work. We gotta pay this bill, gotta pay that bill. And then when you are okay, then you're like, what now? What do I do with myself when I'm not trying to survive? How do you truly rest? My mind can't rest. Yeah, I miss my best friend. I miss when he's away. I miss traveling. I miss the mountains. But we'll be back soon. Calgary is a nice city. I should get out more and discover it. Just kind of adjusting right now. We're kind of adjusting right now, right? Just wanted to give you guys a quick little update about what I'm doing with my life right now. Um, and yeah, this video is gonna be edited by me and filmed by me, so don't expect Robert's quality. It's gonna be Ashley quality because this is gonna be the first video I've ever edited and ever uh, made, ever. So just please, please be nice to me. Goodbye. Okay,